Hey guys, it's our first night. We've got our camp set up. We're right by the lake and we're getting a sunset behind us, but the uh, reflection is this. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of breath because we just climbed up a pretty steep hillside. It's tough getting acclimated. We're at about a little over 86,000 feet at the lake bottom. We're on the other side of the lake from the campsite. Uh, that's my dad, 8,600 feet. This is the lake. Our campsite's straight over there. But we are on a boulder flow. Look at this. Hey guys. I went ahead and ran up the hill. This is a lake called Bigelow Lake. It's like at 9,200 feet. Little island out there. It looks really deep. So, this probably, it's a long hike. We're up very high, 92, 9400 feet. And you can feel this altitude, I tell you. But it's worth it. It's our third day. We're gonna go on a hike. We're leaving Maxwell Lake. And we are going to head out to a place called Horse Meadows. Which looks like on the map it's about uh, only about two miles, mile and a half. Something like that. And then we'll see where we go from there. But uh, it's a lot of sand. And the sand is just crumbled up granite, so it's granite sand. It's kind of cool. Well, we're pretty high up on the ridge, and uh, we found horse meadows from the top. We're going to go down to it, but this is what it looks like. There's even some kind of structure, a cabin. I think it's a ranger deal. We're going to go find that out, too. We're in the middle of horse meadows. So I'll show you what this looks like. Just a beautiful place, big meadow, stream running through the middle, zigzagging everywhere. Here's the stream. Here's the meadow. We're in the middle, so this would be halfway looking north. And this would be looking south. It's amazing to find something like this uh, 17 or 18 miles back in the woods. There's no way to get here but trails. Now, of course, it's forest service, so the rangers have built some kind of uh, log cabins we're going to go check out over here. We'll sit down and have some lunch. This is our last night at Maxwell Lake at our campsite. Dad and we are back there um, sitting around the campfire and I'm just coming out to the lake because it's so clear. 
so nice right now. You can see fish jumping. It sure has been a good trip. We uh, couldn't ask for better. We haven't seen one person the entire trip. We've had the entire lake. Uh, the lake's over a mile long, and we've had the whole lake to ourselves. We've walked it up and down. This is just as secluded as you can get. Um, wonderful trip. The hike out will come. The guy will come pick us up in the morning. I'll film some of the way out, and that'll be this trip. And, ah, oh, man, sure hope to come back. for better. It's just silent. You can hear some of the birds as sunset comes on. Those hills are going to get a lot more red too. It's going to be beautiful. But hopefully I can catch a fish. Hopefully. Hey, 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 yeah. Sazonado más que solo palabras, y si no las cumples, se van a desvanecer. Algún día volverás tu lado mío, y yo de testigo. Vamos un, dos, tres, sin estrés. Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez. Y ven, yo sé que tú quieres. Moverlo sin pena, ven, sin estrés Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor de todos esos placeres Que brinda la vida y que nos hace tan feliz Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor de todos esos placeres We're leaving Maxwell Lake, this is it, our ride out Yo a ti te vi mami, bailabas como un ángel, me acuerdo de ese party No lo hacías despacito, no eras como Dari, eras como Bad Bunny Tu flow bastante cari, alright Hermoso y con timidez me gusta Y con esa sencillez que asusta Sabes bien cómo es que es combi completa De cabeza a los pies Sin effects mami, yo te entono Te subo el pichito te derrito el cono En mis historias siempre te menciono Pa' esa reina necesito un trono